In this lesson, we're going to focus on adding decimals. So let's start with a simple example. What is 3.5 plus 2.4? So go ahead and add up these two numbers. Now what we need to do is line them up. We can write it like this. So make sure that the decimal points are always lined up when you're adding decimal numbers. So we're going to start with the column on the right and add 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. And then rewrite the decimal point. So as you can see, they need to remain uh, lined up here. And then we can add 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. And so therefore, 3.5 plus 2.4 is 5.9. And so that's a simple example that illustrates how you can add two decimal numbers together. Now for the sake of practice, go ahead and try these two examples. So add up 4.6 plus 3.1 and also find the sum of 6.4 plus 5.3. So let's start with this one. So let's set it up this way, 4.6 plus 3.1. And starting with the first column on the right, we have 6 plus 1 which is 7. And then let's rewrite the decimal point. And now we can add 4 plus 3, which is also 7. So the answer for the first example, 4.6 plus 3.1 is 7.7. .7. So now let's move on to the second example. So what is the sum of 6.4 plus 5.3? Well, we know that 4 plus 3 is 7. And then we need to add 6 plus 5, which is 11. So the answer for the second example is 11.7. Now let's add decimal numbers that end in the hundreds place. So let's try this example, 4.56 plus 3.82. Feel free to pause the video and work on that problem. So first, let's stack them together, and then let's add 6 plus 2, which is 8. And then we have 5 plus 8, that's 13. Now, what we need to do here is we need to write the 3 and then carry over the 1. So in the last column, we have 1 plus 4, which is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So the final answer is 8.38. And so adding decimal numbers is not too difficult, but let's try another similar example uh, to this problem. So let's say we have 8.47 plus 7.96. Feel free to pause the video and work on that example. So let's begin by lining up the two numbers. And as always, let's start with the column on the right side. So we have 7 plus 6, which is 13. So let's write the 3, carry over the 1. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. So we're going to write the 4, carry over the 1 to the next column. And then 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. So the answer is 16.43. And so that's it for this problem. Now, let's move on to another example. So what would you do in a situation like this? Let's say if you're given 7.34 plus 5.9. So here we have a number that ends in the hundreds place, and this one ends in the tenths place. So what would you do in this case? Well, when you write the two numbers together, make sure that the decimal points line up. So we need to stack them like this. Here it's 7.34 and the next one is 5.9. So as you can see, the decimal points are lined up. Now we don't have a number here, so we can put a zero. 5.9 is the same as 5.90. So let's add the first column. 4 plus 0 is 4. And then for the second column, 
3 plus 9, that's 12. And now we need to carry over the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 5, that's 13. So the answer is 13.24. Now for the next one, let's go ahead and add 14.7 plus 3.685. So feel free to take a minute, pause the video, and try that example problem. So let's go ahead and add up the two numbers, but we need to line it up properly. So if you want to, you can add two zeros here. And so in the first column, we have 0 plus 5, which is 5. And then we have 0 plus 8, which is just 8. And for the third column, we have 7 plus 6, so that's 13. So let's write the 3 and then carry over the 1 to the column in the left. And then 1 plus 4 plus 3, that's going to be 8. And for the last one, we could just bring it down. Or if you write a 0 here, 1 plus 0 is 1. So the final answer is 18.385. Now let's move on to the next example. So let's add three numbers this time, 3.82 plus 13.6 and 5.431. So go ahead and work on that example. So let's begin by lining up the three numbers. So the important thing to keep in mind is to make sure that the decimal points are lined up. If you focus on that, everything else will be fine. Now let's add some zeros. So I'm going to add one zero here and two zeros, just to make sure everything looks nice. Now in the first column, we have zero plus zero plus one, and so that's going to be one. And then for the second column, it's just two plus three, which will give us five. Now if we move on to the third column, six plus four is ten, ten plus eight is eighteen. So we're going to write the eight, carry over the one. Now we have 1 plus 3, which is 4, and then 4 plus 3 is 7, and then 7 plus 5, that's going to give us 12. So let's write 2, carry over the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. And so the final answer for this example is 22.851. So here is another example, 7.643 plus 12.31 plus 126.47. So for the sake of practice, go ahead and try that. So let's line up the numbers carefully. So the second one is 12.31, and then the last one is 126.47. And let's add two zeros. So in the first column, all we have is a 3. And then for the second column, we have 4 plus 1, which is 5. And then 5 plus 7, that's 12. So let's carry over the 1 and write the 2 at the bottom. And for the third column, we have 1 plus 6, which is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So let's write the 4 and put the 1 in the next column on the left. And now for this column, we have 1 plus 7, which is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 6, so that's 16. Let's carry over the 1. And then 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. And then we can bring down the other one. So the answer for this one is 146.423. So for the last example, I'm going to make it a little harder than the other ones because it's the last example. And so let's add 4.73 plus 12.651 plus 138.5 plus 0.9368. So go ahead and give that problem a shot. So let's begin by lining up the numbers. And then the last one is 0.9368. So what I like to do as 
you know at this point is to fill in the other numbers with zeros to the right. So for the first column, all we have is an 8. And for the second column, we can add a 6 and a 1. So that's going to give us 7. And then for the third column, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So let's write 1 and carry over the other one. So now let's add these numbers. So we have 1 plus 7, which is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 5, that's 19. And then 19 plus 9 is 28. So let's write 8 and then carry over the 2. So now we have 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. And then 1 plus 1 plus 3, that's going to be 5. And then we can bring down the last one, which is 1. And so the answer for this example is 156.817. And so now you know how to add decimal numbers. You've had plenty of examples to really master this topic. So thanks for watching.